Hey guys, this is going to be a little bit of a different video. I don't usually do stuff like this, but it's something I always wanted to kind of get into. So this is kind of just a fun project for me. It goes along with what I already do. So just want to preface that, that I'm not a professional. I have no idea really what I'm doing. I'm just learning as I go. If you like this content, let me know. Comment below. Thanks for watching. All right, I got my KS Ultra here. Torn down already if you want to see me tear it down. I have a video. You can go check that out. When I first took it apart, I thought they got rid of the UART connection, which on the Pro looks like this. But what they did is they changed the connector, and this is still a UART connection. Now there's six pins in there. And the way I discovered it's still the same connector is on the back. Let me flip over to my microscope. All right, you can see the connector comes through here and there's two lines coming in here and a ground. So you have RX and TX right there. It's pretty much identical. Get focused here to the Pro. It's just a different connector. You can see you got ground, RX, and TX. And that would probably be 3.3 volts. Anyways. <clears throat> but the lines that come in go to the same place. It's R132. And this one goes through the board. There's some dried up flux here from the factory. That's nice. Anyways, there's the connector, and I made up, see so here's the normal connectors here that you plug in, and as you can see they're way too big to fit in there. So I made up these adapters here. I just took some straight pins and crimped these DuPont connectors onto it. Pretty simple. And what I'm gonna do here is just slide that over there. Slide one here. Slide one like so. Now I can take my leads here that goes to my UART to USB adapter and plug them into there. Just like that. There you can see the pins I made. These uh, connectors right here go right on top of them. Alright, I've got my ground here my RX on here, my TX back here on there. Let's fire it up. All right, let's go ahead and go into Pico.com. We want to set the band rate to 11, 5, 200. And then our USB device is that one there. So we're gonna go ahead and press enter and the terminal is ready. I'm gonna go ahead and fire it up and hit enter to stop the auto boot. Now we're in the U boot and we're gonna type help. Oh yeah, look at that. All kinds of good stuff. 
There's a lot of stuff in here. Wonder if there's any files. No, no files. Okay, so there's a lot of commands that we can use. Hopefully, we can dump firmware from here. Let's say NAND info. Oh, if I can spell. There we go. NAND device zero. You can see the size, page numbers. Pretty cool. What else do we have? Print BD info. All kinds of good stuff. Now I'm not going to dive into too much here. I'm just going to type boot. It's going to try to boot. As you can see here, you get all kinds of good information. And there we go. So I don't have the ethernet plugged in so it won't try to hash or anything. But you can see all this information, the hash value, CPU, what NAND you have, all kinds of good stuff. I am not a professional when it comes to this kind of stuff, so I have no idea what to do here. You can try to log in, but who knows what password and user is. But, anyways, kind of fun. Thanks for watching.